Hey guys, what's up? It's Kat. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys my favorite iOS 17 features. I've been trying out iOS 17 on my iPhone 14 Pro Max for the past few days and these are the features I knew I needed to share with you guys. The first thing I thought was really cool is that you can actually change the thickness of the font on your lock screen. When you're customizing your lock screen, you can actually use the slider to make it thicker or thinner and I really think that it does make it look more modern and aesthetic when you have a simple and thin font. A feature not a lot of people know about that I think is hidden is that on Safari, you can actually listen to a page. When you're on a web page, click on the two A's and then click on listen to page. I always love the updates to the photo and camera app. The first thing I noticed that is really cool is that there's actually a built-in level. I don't know if you can see right now, but there's actually a line in the middle to show you if your photo or video is level. I always love having the grid feature on, but I feel like this brings your photos to the next level. Another very useful feature is that you can actually lock the white balance in a video. Now when you're looking through your photos, an icon comes up. If it's a dog or a cat, you can just click on that and it will tell you the exact breed. It also does this for food and it shows an icon of a fork and a knife. It even takes it one step further where you can actually see the recipe so you can make the dish yourself. Another very useful feature is that you can double tap or zoom into a photo to crop it. I know this is going to save me time and it just makes editing photos a lot quicker. Thank you Apple for this next feature. You can finally set multiple timers at once and you can also name them. I've been wanting this for forever and I'm so happy it's finally here. AirDrop also has a whole new look to it, as you can see here. Something I know a lot of you have been very excited about is the update to widgets. Now with the contact button, you can actually call or text them straight from that widget. You can easily tick things off of the reminders of your shopping list or to-do list. And you can finally play and pause music straight from your widget. For the past few days, I've been using the standby feature whenever I'm doing work on my desk and on my night table, and I'm really enjoying it. I really do like the options we already have and that you can actually change the different colors. It's really fun to scroll through the different options and I also really liked having my photo album on there on display. I also loved how notifications pop up on the screen as well. You also don't need a MagSafe charger for this to work. It can actually just be plugged in regularly and put on a little stand. Mine is from Amazon and it works great on your desk or night table. I'm really excited to see what developers do to make standby even cooler with more apps. Messages got a whole new look. You now select on the plus button on the bottom left to select different features. And if you hold down on them, you can actually rearrange the order. I've been using this for a few days and it's definitely taking some time to get used to. I was sending a voice note and noticed that the audio is actually a little different as well. And now if you're sharing a location with someone via Find My, their location is right under their contact. When I saw stickers being announced at WWDC, I was very excited because this definitely reminded me of Snapchat making those cutouts and I knew I was going to have a lot of fun with this in messages. It's really quick and easy to make your own cutout. You just select a photo, hold down on the image and click on add sticker and it automatically gets saved into your sticker library. You can send that as an iMessage or even drag and drop it on top of a specific message. Apple also introduced contact posters that people see when you call them. You can actually choose a photo or an emoji. You can change the font and the colors. I'm really excited for everyone to get iOS 17 so we can try the new name drop feature. Your personalized contact card will show up on their screen and you can quickly exchange information. There are a few more features Apple announced that I'm very excited to roll out so that I can share them with you guys. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below what your favorite iOS 17 feature is. I have so many more YouTube videos in the lineup, so make sure to hit that subscribe button to be first to watch. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you soon.